Here we've got a 2006 Toyota Sienna CE. Now this being the base model, it does not come factory equipped with an alarm. But little do we know that Toyota has used the same body ECU across all trims of Sienna and just disabled the alarm in the base model. To enable the alarm in the computer, I'm using a mini VCI cable. It's got an OBD connection on one end and a USB connection on the other end that connects to the computer. So now I'm going to connect the USB cable to the OBD port under the dashboard of the car. Then I'm going to put in the key and turn the key to the on position. So here I've got my computer set up with TechStream software. I've got version 8. I'm just going to click connect to vehicle. Once it's scanned my vehicle, I'm going to select the options. No laser cruise, no memory seats, manual AC, and then click next. This here is the main menu. These are all the ECUs that I can communicate with through the CAN bus. I'm going to click on customize settings. This here is a menu for customizing personalized settings on your vehicle. You can customize things like door locks, power windows, the dome light. I'm going to click on security. As you can see this message pops up, DOP security is not enabled. So by default on this base model, the security system is disabled. I'm going to click OK and then go to option setup and enable the security system. Then I'm going to click save and it will download these changes into the vehicle's ECU. And I can go back to the security menu double click. So here are the settings in the security menu. The first one here is warning by glass sensor. So if your vehicle is equipped with a glass sensor, we're going to turn that on. Then the next one is passive mode, which is basically to enable the alarm to activate after 30 seconds when you close the door and lock it. Then we have warning by horn, so that's for the alarm to sound by the horn. We have arm state indicator, which is the security light on the dashboard. I'm going to go ahead and enable all of these and save the settings and allow it to download into the body ECU. And I'm just going to close that menu and close this menu and then I can exit TechStream. I can then turn off the vehicle. I can then remove the cable from the OBD port. To test that the alarm is working, I'm going to close all doors and lock them and wait 30 seconds for the alarm to activate. Once the alarm is activated, I'm going to open this lock. The lights should flash and the alarm should sound. We can use the unlock key to stop the alarm from sounding. 